Hello everybody, welcome back, bike of the year. Let's talk weight hike. Weight hike. Amazing, amazing. First of all, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Amazing. Um, I like having you guys listening. Uh, even two or three of you guys are listening. I am very, very grateful. And, you know, I want to have one or two person listening and, um, and uh, really engage to what I say instead of a thousand people who never would listen but don't really, don't really give a F. Um, so that, that what really, that's what really drives me. And it's the, all the good things. So... Anyways, oh my god, somebody just fell because uh, there was something slippery on the road and then he lost his coffee. Oh wow. Uh, I feel so sorry. Anyways, yes, I uh, just, uh, uh, let's talk the ways, wait, right, the interest rate. Um, we have this big problem right now where the government, well, the Fed, the Federal Reserve or central banks of government that need to raise rate. Well, uh, the, the, the question is, though, when you really think about it, it's not because they have independence or they, it's, they, they do whatever they want. No, it's because the market, there's a market that lends them money. So when the market, let's say, it, when the market asks them a specific way, right? They need to give the market the way the market needs so the market can leave the mo- their money with them. Otherwise, the market would take their money somewhere else, right? So the dynamic works this way. Now, because the market knows the money is worthless because the inflation, the, the, the way, the rate, the, um, the prices of stuff are going up are crazy high. So it's fast, very, very fast. So if the market knows, right, price of things are going up. Let's say the market thinks the price of things are... 10 percent right and the official numbers which is basically directly from the fed it's like a criminal uh, it's like asking a criminal how much what's a you know uh what you what's the crime rate of course he's gonna he's gonna tell you the crime rate is zero right because he doesn't want to be in trouble so they they put the cpi number out there to fool the market. Say, hey, the CPI number is 2% or 3%. Well, the market is not stupid. The market is, knows the inflation rate is way up there, right? It's way up there because, first of all, they don't even include energy prices in that CPI. So, now, because if you include energy prices, I'm sure inflation rate would be at 25% right now. You know, because inflation is a vector. A vector means you have a bunch of um, uh, different uh, numbers in this, right? All those in this in the market giving you a rate, right? How high they are going up. So all those in this telling you something. So if all those in this are saying the weight is at this height, this height, and then you you add them up together, right? And then once you add them up, and then you take the average, right? So that's the vector. The, it's, it's like the average of everything that gives you a general number. So now the market knows they're lying. The market needs more it more for the buck, right? So now they have to raise weight. When they say, hey, they're gonna raise like, they're probably gonna raise weight again. 
and I think they're gonna go off a two digit and wait increase because the market will ask to do so and until they reach a point where they own all the debt right? until they reach a point where nobody have their money with them at that point let's say you get to the point of Bank of Japan where nobody pretty much they all the central bank on the, the money there because nobody's dumb enough to give the money at at uh, like lower than it put down one percent right at one percent two percent so you have you're gonna have that situation coming up that's oppression right they just uh, suppress the market but right now the market is in charge the market is leading right uh, the market is, is in control the fed is not in control the, 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 your central bank is not in control right now the market is in control because the market decide the way right so but at the same time you have the debt increasing like in a vast in a big way because you know just remember just last month they, they increased the debt by a trillion dollars right? over a trillion um, this month again they are putting even more debt right on top of that so by the end of the year they're probably gonna you're gonna, you're gonna have like almost two and a half trillion dollars in the on top of the, that, that debt so 23.5 somewhere like that but it could be lower but it could be higher as well but that's approximately what we're gonna have but it, it, it doesn't matter the trajectory is clear they just have to point and they keep to, they have to keep lying to you say they are not pointing right so they said they are tightening Okay, if you if they are tightening, why is the debt is increasing? <laughs> See, it's like people are too stupid to understand what's going on, and they still, they still believe in that, right? They still think in raising rate can fix inflation. It's like, no, you're too dumb to understand to think that because raising rate, inflation is the money printing. It's not it, it, prices rising are reaction of that. Okay, so. The, the rising prices, right, are just a reaction to the money printing, to the inflation, right? inflation problem. So, anyways, I just wanted to just get this out of. Uh, you know, yeah, I saw just see somebody just is a cop stop somebody. You know, there's no way you could see that car is a cop car because it doesn't say it. You know, it's, it's, you know, these those cop cars they don't really write police on them, like it's very light, so that's how they catch this guy. Now it's going to work, now you're gonna have to pay. Um, so much money, uh, you know. You try, you try to get to work on time, but it may be speeding over the limit, and then now you're gonna have to pay. Anyways, so this is the thing, yeah. And uh, we we'll see where that where that ends up, right? We we'll see the where that ends up because um, it's never fun. It's never, never, never fun to see what's going on here because you know it's. It's amazing, right? It's amazing how people still think, you know, still believe in the government. I mean, in, in some countries, people don't give a F what the government government think. You know, they call them bluff because they no longer believe in them, right? And Bitcoin is a solution to the money printer, right? You know, because Bitcoin removed the needs for them to print money. Um, you know, we can say we separate the money from the state 
then we fix the problem, right? You fix the money, you fix the world. Um, that that's it, right? You reduce friction in the market, and you have more free market. Until you do that, you never have like a real economy. You just have a, a capitalism or a mark. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, this was a bike over. Took Seek Talk. And I'll see you again in the next Took Seek Talk. Bike over.